Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel for today's timeless message that I recorded on the solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024. So this is your solar eclipse message, but whenever you find this, it can apply to your life as well. I'll be using the Guardian Angel Oracle by Debbie Malone. There's a front of that box cover now. We are going to set that box cover here in the background near the candles so you can focus on that as we move through the reading. Off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides. Oh, and there it comes, popping right out for today's message. And we have the Angel of Health, number 16. Look at that beautiful card there. How do you resonate with that imagery? How do you resonate with the message of health? Okay, health and wellness need to be a priority in your life. And I'm not only talking about physical health, all right? mental health, emotional health. That's all part of our well-being. How are you prioritizing your health in your life? You have to fill your own cup first, everyone. You have to take care of your own body, your own physical vehicle that houses your energy first before you can help others. Okay, we are going to get into the booklet message. And of course, 16 is the number if you indeed are seeing 1616 16 in your environment, or one plus six is seven, if you're seeing 777 seven, seven, wherever you go, or any other number for that matter, as numbers repeating in our life are direct signs and synchronicities meant for us to pay attention to. So I'm putting that power back in your hands and encouraging you to educate yourself. Go out, do the internet searches, look for the resources, look for the information that can help you to answer your own questions. Use that human intelligence along with the divine intelligence of the intuition. As you receive any information, advice, wisdom from your environment and then choose what you want to apply to your life moving forward. Things that don't resonate with you, let him go, leave him for the next person. Okay, and here we get into it. So I'm gonna use the booklet here. This is not my work, all right? These are not my words. This is Debbie's work, her hard work, okay? And we are going to honor the intention that she had for the specific card by reading her hard work, her booklet message. Anything additionally that I add, is merely coming from my own personal life experience as a human here on the planet. None of it may ever resonate with you at all, and that is okay. We all have different missions, different purposes on the planet. So use that intuition, use that human intelligence, and decipher for yourself as you're receiving these messages, if they do indeed belong in your life. You are a healthy spiritual being who rejoices in experiencing wellness in your life. You have received this card because your angel of health has heard your concerns about your health and fitness. Have you been procrastinating about living a healthier lifestyle? Do you worry about your fitness levels and your weight? Do you suffer with chronic illness that is holding you back from living the life you dream of? Have you thought about joining a gym but keep putting it off? Do you want to become more mobile and be more active? If you answer yes to any of these questions, you will understand that this is the reason your angel of health has come to your aid. And what a beautiful and powerful energy today if you receive this message on the solar eclipse Things are coming in quick with this energy, folks. All right. If you set that intention to prioritize your health, be mindful and keep those eyes open for those opportunities to appear in your life for you to do what you said you wanted to do. Okay. Whether that's <clears throat> new information that comes to you through talking with other individuals, through 
internet searches, through any type of information, commercials even, okay? Those are meant for you to receive. Those are being sent your way to answer that call, okay? Because you called out to the universe, put your intention into the universe that you want to prioritize your health and wellness. So don't be shocked, all right? if those opportunities come flooding in, especially in today's energy. But certainly whenever you find this video, it is meant for you to receive, okay? Remember, today is your day and now is your time. Sign up for that membership to the club and go start working out today. Pull out that cookbook you had to have, that vegetarian meals, okay? or whatever it is, that one's coming forward, okay? Start the recipe that you've been procrastinating on. Try that today. These are types of things that you can do, okay? Meditation, mindfulness, the gratitude journal, those are all part of our wellness, so right? It's a body-mind system that we have here, okay? So it's important that you Look at all aspects of your wellness and health, right? Today, you're being called to do what you said you wanted to do, to take action today towards that health goal, all right? You don't want to get stuck in that energy of self-sabotage, okay? Procrastinating, that is harmful, all right? Fear holds us back and it comes in forms like self-sabotage, all right? So recognizing when you're self-sabotaging, when you set that alarm for that early morning walk that you want to do outside in nature. I mean, you could do several mindfulness and wellness practices in one that, you know, that address both the physical and the mental and emotional states. Going outside, moving your body outside in the fresh air, and noticing all of the things around you and being grateful and thankful and thinking about those things as you practice your physical walk, right, or run or whatever it is for you out in your environment, okay? If you're one of those people that likes to multitask, well, there you go. Take a beautiful walk outside in nature. Spend some time recognizing realizing and focusing all the beautiful nature around you and getting into the mindset of thankfulness and gratitude, okay? She will guide you, the angel of health, to find a healthier way of living. Sometimes this means we have to let people go. Relationships, situations, circumstances that are keeping us small, they're not allowing us to grow. That are keeping us stuck. It's time to let them go, all right? That is also a clearing out, a purging, okay? Not only of mindsets and behaviors, but also situations, circumstances, environments, and relationships. Let them go. Purge them. Today is the day, all right? Let it go. Release it. As when you do that, you no longer block yourself. You open the energy to receive and more comes into you. More that is meant for you. More that is meant to support who you are as you are growing this next stage, this next version of yourself. In fact, if you want to, you can mark this day, the solar eclipse, April 8th, 2024, as your anniversary date. All right, I challenge you to do that. Start something today. So the next year on April 8th, 2025, you can celebrate one year of accomplishment. Okay, think about that today. All right. She will steer you in the right direction when you are looking for the right gym to join or the right health practitioner to assist you with your health issues. Okay. All you need to do is surrender your worries and fears about your health to her, and she will give you all of the necessary support that you need. The most important thing for you to remember is that you are now on the path to wellness. Start today. Make this day one, okay? Your angel of health wants to remind you what it feels like to be in the state of natural wellness. 
She wants you to stop dwelling on being unwell and to look to the future of being pain free, whether that's physical pain or mental and emotional pain you'd like to release. Okay. What you think you create, all right? So if you continue to think positive thoughts and vibe at a high vibrational state and remain thankful, remain grateful, from there you are living, you are attracting. But if you choose to remain in a low vibratory state, attracting more negativity onto you, and viewing life and living from that negative state, well, then indeed, it will continue. So maybe today, you need to completely switch and change your mindset. And that is the action step you choose to take today. I'm going to think positively about my situation, circumstance, or relationship, right? When something negative comes my way, I'm going to approach it in a way of, what am I learning from this? What are the lessons I need to take from this experience and how do I apply it to my life so that I can continue to feel joy and change the things that I see in my life, right? That mindset switch allows you to see everything in your life differently, okay? Maybe that's for you today. What you think you create, so only think about being happy healthy and healed, all right? Happy, healthy, and healed is your energy, should be in your vibration, okay? Once you surrender your health issues to your angel of health, she will take care of the rest, okay? Surrender, ask for help, ask for guidance from your spiritual team so they can step in and give you a direction to go, send you new opportunities, okay? Once you've declared this, once you've agreed to this, that you wanna feel healthy and happy, okay? Affirmation, I am at one with my body. My health is on track. I am guided by my angel of health to maintain physical activity and a healthy lifestyle. Powerful, powerful message for all of us to receive, right? A healthy lifestyle, okay? You only get this one vehicle in this one life, right? This houses your everlasting energy, this physical organic vehicle while you're here. It is your job to prioritize the care of your organic vehicle so you can indeed do what you said you were going to do when you were here. So you can follow the path to your purpose, okay? And do it well. And do it healthy, okay? Prioritize your health and wellness today. Today is your day and now is your time. Tomorrow is not promised. Not to me. Not to you. Not to anyone. Is it ever? We don't know the day we're going to transition. Yesterday, I'm afraid, friends, is done and over. But we may take those lessons learned and apply it to our life moving forward, realizing that today is our day, our only promised magic moment of the present to take that inspired action. So you're being called to step up and take some type of action today that prioritizes your health and wellness. What are you going to do? Let me know in the comments. Have a beautiful day, everyone. I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting me the way that you do. Put that best foot forward. Be the best human you can be, okay? And I wanted to do something just a little bit differently here at the end, okay? And I'm going to be using the card deck just like this, all right? And I am going to be bringing in the pendulum, okay? I've been waiting for an opportunity to use the pen pendulum to introduce my subscribers to the pendulum. You're going to see more of the pendulum in the future. But today is my day and now is my time. And I want to try something new today. So if we just focus here on the card deck, we're going to be using this motion. So the motion towards you. Here, I'll hold it in my other hand. 
if the pendulum swings towards you back and forth in this vertical way, the answer to your question is yes, okay? If the pendulum indeed would swing horizontally like this, then the answer to your question is no. So I want you to pause this video and think of a question, okay? When you've thought up of a yes or no question you'd like to answer today, your answer is here, okay? For each of us, the question is going to be different, okay? So I'm going to get my pendulum up here and we're going to hold it there, okay? Spirit, spirit, spirit for all those that need to receive this message. What is the answer to the question that they are asking? Yes or no, spirit? Yes or no? It's a clear yes. You see that? Spirit, can you swing in a little faster? That is a yes. Okay. And I promise, thank you, Spirit, that was a yes. Okay. So whatever your question was, the answer is yes. All right, everybody is going to be different. Please know that is my first attempt here on the channel using the pendulum. And I will work on different creative ways of using that pendulum even better um, so that we can see it even better. But that was a clear yes. All right. Thank you so much for allowing me to try something different here on the channel. Again, have a beautiful day. If you can see that solar eclipse wherever you are, take a moment today. Of course, use those protective glasses so you don't harm your eyes. All right. And come back again and join me for yet another collective energy message. Bye-bye.